Hey guys, it's been absolutely freezing this July here in Melbourne, Australia. But being stuck inside means we've had more time to play the latest indie games. So whether you're enduring your winter or enjoying your summer, stick around as we count down the top 5 indie games of the month. Yes, yes, yes! Get that cheese! Get it, you mice! <laughs> oh, hello. As messed up as that cat is, he speaks the truth. Mousecraft is all about getting the cheese. The game is a casual puzzler, in which you have to guide three mice lemming style from point A to B by placing down Tetris-like blocks. All the while, that cat watches on in disturbing silence. on, players are gifted the unlimited ability to freeze time and place blocks, as well as undo mistakes, which will make the difficulty quite easy for some. But there's always the option of ignoring these generous powers. Ultimately, Mousecraft offers casual drop-in puzzling over 80 levels, underpinned by unique concept. You can get the cheese on PC, PS4 or PS Vita. The Nightmare Cooperative. Now that's a snazzy name if ever we've heard one. It's also another roguelike. But not just another roguelike, thanks to two key distinguishing features. Firstly, the gameplay is turn-based. Secondly, you control multiple units, which all move together in the direction that you move them. Combined, this also makes the game's promised difficulty a reality. Units come in different classes, but a lot of the game's charm comes from not being overly complicated as well as its lovely aesthetic. Our major gripe is that this game would be better suited to mobile devices with touchscreens. There it could carve out its own niche and excel, given the way units are moved and the smaller size of the game. Gods will be watching last week, and after release, we were not at all disappointed. The game is a point and click thriller in which you are empowered with only a few decisions per day. This is made all the more difficult by the many tasks you have to fulfill, such as negotiating torture and hostage scenes, managing resources, boosting team morale, and stopping biological warfare. It all ends up being too tough a balancing act to manage, and the brutal reality of survival shows its face in the form of sacrifice and an abandonment of morality. Some people would consider calling Divinity Original Sin indie a sin itself. And although we agree the point is arguable, at the end of the day Larian Studios developed and published the game all on their own. Now that is out of the way, let's get to the important stuff. What makes this game great? For starters, Original Sin is a top-down RPG with online co-op and turn-based combat. There's a ton of content and no guiding hand to direct you, so naturally you'll be lost in the complex spell system and large open world. But that's what's so special about Original Sin. It trusts you to find your own way. And when you experiment and then finally discover, the payoff is huge. Add to that an unbelievably extensive toolkit that allows the players to modify the world to their liking and you have a complete package. Divinity Original Sin is one of the best RPGs this year, but despite its brilliance, one other game in July edged it out. But before we get to that, here's some of our honourable mentions. Chivalry isn't dead. 
You know a game is truly awesome when it spawns endless puns. And Shovel Knight delivers in spades, having dug up timeless 8-bit action adventuring straight out of an NES. It shovels in simple controls, tight platforming, collectible loots, upgrades, backtracking, and well-designed layouts and enemies. Shovel Knight is retro indulgence at its finest, but still digs out its own unique path with its checkpoint system, protagonist, and feel. It's our best game for July, and perhaps the year so far, beating out to Vinny Original Sing simply for all its fun. If you want to catch the knight with the shovel, you can find him on PC, Wii U, and 3DS. If you didn't know, we do this thing every month, so be sure to subscribe for our future videos, and go and check out our previous ones too. As always, thanks for watching. My name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh. We'll see you next time here on Indie Former. Kabang! If you didn't know, we do this thing every month, so be sure to subscribe for our future videos and just go and check it out. No, just, I'm not gonna tell you to do that. I'm gonna recommend it. Hey guys, it's been absolutely freezing this. Oh, July? Freezing! Do you wanna, do you wanna. <laughs> hey, guys, hey guys, it's been absolutely freezing! Freezing! I need a hug, I'm cold. It's July here in Melbourne, Australia. But it hasn't been that bad. Since we've been all shacked up inside, we've had time to play the latest in the games. <laughs> oh my god, he says it now.